dear all welcome back before starting with this today's tutorial i would uh, just like to remind you that uh, if you are interested and if you find it more convenient for your use there is a description uh, in the below the video with a step-by-step -step procedure on how to do what i will be uh, telling you today uh, please be patient about the quality of the video considering i am doing this in my very few spare time and i am that def definitely not uh, professional these videos are not meant to be sexy, we'll be missing all the best and whistle uh, that you will find in, uh, other, from other sources. Uh, I would simply be very happy if you find them useful, so please let me know in the comments and let's start with today's video. Before we, we start in detail, let me remind you the tooling we will be using today. Uh, this is uh, the M-Wave Chocolate MIDI pedal. It is a very inexpensive uh, MIDI, MIDI keyboard, MIDI, MIDI pedal board that can be purchased from different sources. Uh, we will, you will also need uh, your faithful Android smartphone. Uh, this is applicable for Android because for the moment, the main app we will be using that is uh, Mightier Amp, an app developed by our friend Tutorius. Uh, will it, for the moment is only available for Android. In the future, an iOS version will be made available, but uh, I cannot tell you when, I don't know exactly the, the date. And also, in the end, you will need a device from the new X Mighty uh, line. I will be using the new X Mighty Air. Of course, if you have a new X Mighty Plug MP2 or MP Pro, uh, you can apply the, the, what I'm showing you today uh, without particular changes. So, uh, if you have doubt about this tooling, about the app, uh, how to install it, it's available in the, within the Google Play Store, so it's very easy. But any, in any case, you can find some details uh, in uh, previous videos from this series. So, let's start. The first thing you will need to do is install the official app from uh, Mwave uh, website for controlling and configuring the, the pedal. So, turn it uh, upside down. You will find there is a QR code below it. You will need to point it with your smartphone. So give me a second, I'm moving it outside the screen because the lightning here is not very good. So let's point it, let's see if we can. Okay, so my smartphone recognizes it. As you can see, this QR code just includes a link to the, to the official app. So let's go to the website. Uh, I will be, you will be asked uh, to download the app, kubsuite.apk, uh, uh, so it's uh, an app. Okay, let's give it uh, some seconds uh, to download it. You may have noticed that uh, the, this app is coming from an unofficial source. It is not available within the uh, Google Play Store. Uh, so, uh, for safety reasons, you will need to enable on your device uh, the possibility to uh, to, um, to install this kind of app for, uh, from the external of the Google Play Store. Uh, please, if you don't know how to do it, uh, Google it for your specific device, uh, because in Android there are different uh, configurations, but normally it is possible to be done. For iOS devices, it's easier because you just need to, to look in the Apple Store. It is officially within there. So if you click in the app already downloaded, you will be shown a screen to ask you if you want to install or update the app. Of course, I will just cancel because I have it already installed. But if you like, if you need it, just press install and you will find it onto your smartphone. Do not open the app yet. Just wait for a moment because first of all, we need to turn on the chocolate pedal. So turn it on you will see the blue light uh, showing the connection that is blinking. That means that it is now visible through Bluetooth. So uh, now you, you need to enable the Bluetooth onto your smartphone if you didn't. So please turn it on if necessary. And have a look at uh, find the, in the available devices the device named Foot Control. You see it uh, at the bottom and click on it. And now I can pair it as I would do with other, other Bluetooth devices. Uh, and very important note, uh, when doing this, just make sure that localization is enabled in, onto your smartphone. If not, just turn it on because the protocol used by this pedal uh, is uh, proximity Bluetooth. Uh, and if the position is not enabled, it will not be visible in, into your smartphone. So consider that now we paired it. You can see that. Uh, 
in here. Um, also in the in the manual of the of the device, you will find suggestion to do, to do this. Now we can open the official app, the Cube Suite app, the green one. So let's push on it. Welcome screen. You see that it has already found the foot control pedal. Uh, consider that uh, this app will find uh, also other Bluetooth devices you would have connected uh, into, your, uh, into your smartphone. If so, for example, if I go out uh, and I open it again, you've seen that my new X might here already coupled. You see it is listed here. Uh, please ignore it. It is just uh, browsing through the full list of Bluetooth devices. Press uh, foot control. That is what uh, we, we will need now. Just a little warning, two little warnings. It may happen that in the previous screen, the foot control appears uh, uh, instead uh, in, of being within a green box, uh, within an orange reddish box. If this is the case, probably it is done due because it, you didn't pair it before and it is not paired to your device. So please return to previous steps and uh, start from the beginning. Okay, now we have it. Uh, another very important warning on the top right corner of this uh, of the screen of the configuration screen you will find there is a, a voice OTA upgrade this is meant to upgrade the firmware of the pedal through through your smartphone through the web uh, my suggestion is to never ever do that <laughs> why i'm telling you this uh, some users found that uh, last revisions of the firmware available through this, uh, this MIN uh, are, breaking, are breaking the um, compatibility with some external pedals. So if you intend in the future to use your, uh, your pedal also with an external expression pedal, do not up upgrade the firmware. You will just lose some functionality. So my suggestion is to forget this, uh, this, op this option. For this tutorial, I will show you uh, the easiest and straightforward configuration to make the device immediately usable. It is not the advanced version. If you want to use, for example, an expression, an expression pedal or other advanced functionality like uh, long pressing the buttons or something like that, we will need to make another configuration. But for now, I will stick with the simplest one. So in a few steps, you will have it uh, available for your use. At the mid-8, mid in the middle of the screen, you will see there is a menu that you can scroll. Uh, as you can see, whatever selection you make in the, um, up in the box uh, above it, you will find the description of the, the functionality that you will have uh, using this, uh, this configuration. Uh, if you're familiar with the MIDI commands or something like that, maybe this uh, have a meaning to you. For our use, we will pick Program Change B, the second option. That's all, because uh, this selection is already transmitted to your pedal. You don't need to click anywhere else. You can close the app, because for now we are finished. And you will need to do this only once, only this time, because unless you want to change the configuration, but the behavior of your pedal, for now we are finished and it will stay programmed like this for, for future use. So let's close the app and go on with the next step. Now we will see how to enable the pedal within Mighty Ramp. Uh, when done, the pedal will be used as an input device and will make it possible to select option exactly as you would do directly touching your, touching your smartphone screen. So it is uh, uh, just a, like an external keyboard. Uh, a very important thing before we start, because this is necessary for recognizing, uh, Remove the, the, the touch your chocolate pedal from your smartphone main Bluetooth. The Bluetooth protocol use, that will be used by Mighty Ramp for MIDI commands, we will see later, uh, is conflicting with the official Bluetooth. So if you don't detach it from the, from the regular Bluetooth, it will never show up. So what I will be doing is clicking on the Bluetooth, disable the connection on the um, Nuex, uh, on the M-Wave chocolate pedal. Uh, in case in the, the, light, the blue light should return blinking, make sure that it's happened. If this doesn't happen, simply turn it off and back on and make sure that it is blinking. Otherwise, what will follow will not be possible. Okay, now we can open the Mightier Amp. I'm, I'm supposing that you already have it on your smartphone. So let's open it. 
Uh, at the bottom, you see it is connecting to the new XMITR because it is already, already started, already on. Now, please uh, press the fifth tab button, settings on the bottom. So click here. You will be uh, taken to the screen. Scroll to remote control, the option you can see here. Press on it. You see, here you will, you will have the list of the uh, input devices available because the pedal is considered an input device. Uh, as you can see, you will always find uh, HID input. This is a legacy option I would suggest to ignore because it has a lot of limitation. It allows you to connect many other devices. So let's start with the scanning and you see that foot control appeared immediately. Um, you click on it, click on the option and uh, the gear on the right hand side should appear as you can imagine gear means configuration so let's click on it and we will find a menu that lists channel hotkeys effect on off hotkeys parameter hotkeys these are all functionalities that you can associate to your pedal uh, for this tutorial as i said i will just show you a very very simple configuration my personal pick what i'm using most and i prefer but of course you can do whatever you like it's quite simple it's very similar to mapping keys of a gamepad into a, into a video game. So uh, I, I'm confident that you will find it very easy. Uh, what I will be doing is pressing channel hot keys, select previous channel and press the A button, the first one. You see that now PC0, that is also the number appearing here, is associated to this functionality. Okay. To next channel, I will associate button D, PC3, and you can do the rest. You see that when you press a button on the pedal, the number shows you where it is. 00, 01, 02, 03. Okay, I'm going back to configure the, the, the buttons B and C. I normally associated them as some effect toggles, so I'm pressing toggle FX and associate it to this PC1 and toggle reverb associated to this button. Okay. And now we are ready for the for the funny part. So let's go back and back. Return to the main screen on the app, click on editor tab on the bottom. This is the regular app. It's very similar to, to that uh, you will find in the official app. If I select uh, something, uh, a different channel, it is changed also into the new X Mighty Air. Please have a look at the colored light that shows you this. You may have remembered that we associated button A to previous channel, button D to next channel. If I push, if I click on one of them, you should see that uh, the program is changed both in the app and on the device. If I select a device that has reverb, if I click here, reverb is toggled on and off. Have a look in the app at the uh, green uh, on the orange uh, box. The same for FX, the purple one. So it is uh, controlling. Well, what you need to remember is that this one is controlling the app and the app in itself is controlling the device. So for this to work, you will always have to have the app uh, up and running. But the, the funny thing is that you don't need to have it uh, due to have the screen on. You can turn your screen off and it will be working anyway. Let's have a look at the, at the light. And also, you will, uh, it will be working if you are in different, uh, in different apps, if the app is not uh, on the main screen. So, for example, now of course, I don't need to go out of it, but return at the beginning. Start, for example, your favorite uh, tab program. For me, <laughs> it's uh, uh, Guitar Tabs. I can have a look at one of the, of the tabs I have in my list. And you will be able to see that... Uh, in any case, if I push the buttons, the selection, the channels are changing. Um, so you will have your hands free and you will be able to, to control the pedal, the, the device through, through the pedal. As we mentioned before, this is valid for all the new X Mighty devices. 
A very small extra. In this kind of configuration, you may have noticed that the M-Wave chocolate pedal has four buttons, A, B, C, D, but also it has also other two functionalities. Button E, that is obtain pressing altogether A and B, and button F that can be obtained pressing C and D. You can associate this to a specific functionality if you want, but in this configuration, if I press together the F button, I'm dropped to another list. In fact, now you see that A is associated to 04, B is associated to 05, C is associated to 06, and, 7, and, and D is associated to 07. And go on. I can go forward again. If I want to go back to another bank of functionalities, I have to press the E, boot, the e button. So let's return, press it on again, and we are back to the initial functionality we have just configured. In any configuration, in any bank, you can pick your favorite selection. If you find it useful, just uh, we can do it. If you want a, a more detailed video about this, please ask me in the comments. This is all for today's tutorial. Thank you everybody for following it until the end. Uh, please let me know in the comment if there is something wrong or not clear enough. Uh, give me suggestion for future development of specific aspect. I can assure you I will treasure your suggestion for improvement. I will do my best to provide a new video every week. In the channel you will also find a poll of some topics I have ready I think I can, uh, I can address. Uh, please pick your choice and uh, if possible I will rearrange my schedule according to your preferences. In the meantime, I will take the opportunity to wish you a very Merry Christmas. Bye-bye.